What makes my game dangerous is the combination of my serve and then my uh, powerful ground strokes. I think I can just do a lot of damage if I have the time. And now Fritz really fighting back. My ranking's been going upwards, and so I like to think, you know, maybe, maybe I have a chance, and that's one of my big goals, to have a, have a deep run in a big tournament. Fritz wins the fourth. Is it the last rights for Djokovic? Yeah. When it comes to playing the, you know, the top guys, there's only so much you can do, especially when you have uh, a game like mine. For me, I just have to really, really go for it and hit my spots and serve well and not let them kind of get into get into their rhythm and play their game. When it comes to playing those guys, there's really only like a couple things you can do because they're so good. And Djokovic wins in five. He takes the scenic route and it's going to be a tough one for Taylor Fritz because he played his part but he comes off second best. I've always thought like the, the mental side of tennis and like being good under pressure, being good coming up with strategies and stuff like that, I always feel like that's just kind of something you're born with or you have. And I've been lucky, I've always felt like I've been pretty good with that. I'm very confident and I think just having the confidence gives me the, uh, the reassurance to like kind of just think clearly and trust my shots and you know, and play with no pressure. I wear what Nike gives me, and it's, I like I like uh, their stuff. It's always really flashy and like different. They're always kind of just trying to do new things, and I think that's cool because it kind of gets people's uh, attention. Me and a couple of the other like American players, we like to go shopping and you know go for a lot of these uh, just different different brands and fashion. Not like all the all the basic designers, I guess, that most people wear, but it, we yeah we have.